A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to Luke. Some Pharisees came to Jesus and said, Go away, leave this area because Herod wants to kill you. He replied, Go and tell that fox, Behold, I cast out demons, and I perform healings, today and tomorrow. And on the third day, I accomplish my purpose. Yet I must continue on my way today, tomorrow, and the following day. For it is impossible that a prophet should die outside of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who killed the prophets and stoned those sent to you, how many times I yearned to gather your children together, as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, but you were unwilling. Behold, your house will be abandoned, but I tell you, you will not see me until the time comes when you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Gospel of the Lord Go away, leave this area. It is not known whether the Pharisees who warned Jesus about Herod's intention to kill him are Jesus' sympathizers or Herod's cohorts out to dissuade Jesus from pursuing his mission. Jesus' response is strong and an equivocal. No threat can deter him from his passion to minister to people. He calls Herod that fox, a trait denoting the meanness of Herod as an evil ruler. Jesus pursues a relentless ministry of preaching and healing. His mission will culminate on the third day, the final fulfillment of his work on earth. Jesus has a very clear idea that his mission will lead to his death in Jerusalem. The holy city has witnessed many other prophets, stoned and martyred. Jesus sees himself as sharing in the faith of the martyrs in the holy city and not elsewhere. He weeps for Jerusalem as he recalls the several occasions when he invites the city towards repentance and his call falls on deaf ears. Despite their obstinacy and disobedience, Jesus speaks of a time in the future when he will return in glory. What keeps you strong and consistent in the face of opposition and negative feedback.